Please download Telugu Stop Android app in Play Store or iOS app in App Store and stay tuned to latest news as it happens. In a recent turn of events, the Telugu Desham Party, TDP, released a letter purportedly written by Chandrababu Naidu addressed to the people of Andhra Pradesh. In the missive, Naidu reassured his supporters, stating, I am not in jail, I am in your hearts. Sometimes, justice may be delayed but in the end, justice will only win. While the letter carries familiar political rhetoric, its release has ignited an unforeseen controversy. Prison authorities promptly issued a press release asserting the letter's inauthenticity. According to established prison protocols, any correspondence from a prisoner undergoes thorough scrutiny, and only after verification by the jailer, along with an official stamp, can it be sent to the intended recipient, be it a court, government office, or family member. The YSR Congress swiftly responded alleging that the letter was a fabrication intended to mislead the public. They have even gone so far as to question the authenticity of Naidu's signature. The intensity of this dispute has left many puzzled. It remains unclear why the prison authorities are so insistent on discrediting the letter, or why YSR Congress leaders are reacting with such urgency. In political circles, such letters are not uncommon. Typically, teams are tasked with drafting and publishing them often bearing the digital signatures of party leaders. It is not always the case that the leaders themselves draft and sign these letters. In this instance, Chandrababu Naidu maintains regular contact with family members and party leaders, meeting them twice a week. Lokesh, Naidu's son and a prominent figure in TDP, has already stated that his father provided guidance on the contents of the letter. If there were anything grounding in its contents, the government could exert pressure on prison authorities for clarification, or YSR Congress leaders could voice their criticism. It is essential to note that the letter contains conventional political messaging, prompting one to wonder why there is such an uproar surrounding it. This incident underscores the YSR Congress's concern about the potential sympathy wave that Chandrababu Naidu might garner. It appears they are uneasy about the public hearing or reading Naidu's words, even in this straightforward letter, fearing it may influence public sentiment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.